Hi Katie, thanks for sending another question. So again, we have two steps that we're gonna use to figure out how to factor this. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write it as a sum or difference of cubes uh, once we've identified that it is a sum or difference of cubes. So you kinda have to be able to spot what's going on at the get-go. And once you kinda have an inkling, we're actually gonna rewrite that explicitly, meaning Every single number and letter is going to have a cube on it, on it, all of them, even if they're just multiplied together. So we know that 125 is 5 cubed. The x already has a cubed on it. And 64 is actually 4 cubed. Let's go ahead and simplify that, and we can put these two cubes that are being multiplied under the same cubic expression. So we can see that we have two terms and they both have cubes on them. So our next step is to utilize the correct formula. You'll see I have some A's and B's running around here. When I use the term A and B, I'm calling this first term A and this second term B. So let's take a look at these formulas so we can kind of get an idea of the patterns going on. So for A cubed plus B cubed, you're going to see that we have this little factor and this big factor. And the first factor is a plus b. We have the exact same sign in the little factor. And the big factor that we're multiplying by is a squared minus ab plus b squared. You stick those squares on the ends. You multiply a times b in the middle, so your first number times your second number. And then this number, or this sign, I'm sorry, is going to be the opposite of this sign. This sign over here is always a positive sign. So same, opposite, always a positive sign. Same thing is going on even if you have an a, a cubed minus b cubed. So you have a little factor and you have a big factor. And this first sign is always the same. The second sign is always the opposite. And the third sign is always a positive. And again, it's a, b, a squared, a, b, b squared. So since we have a sum of cubes, a, a cubed plus b cubed, uh, we're going to go ahead and utilize this formula up here. So now that we've identified what a and b are, which is very, very important, and that's why we rewrite it as a sum of cubes, we can go ahead and just plug and play, basically. So our a is 5x, and our b is 4. Our a is 5x, but we're squaring that. So we're going to have 5x squared minus the opposite sign, a times b, 5x times 4, plus, third sign is always a plus, b squared, so 4 squared. Let's go ahead and simplify this. You can, of course, do some of these steps in your head if you feel like you're ready, but it's probably best to write them out at first. 5x squared, we can actually distribute the square to both of them, so we are squaring the 5 to get 25 squared and squaring the x to get x squared. You can only distribute an exponent like that if you have a uh, multiplication or division going on, by the way. That does not count for addition or subtraction. 5x times 4 is, we have a minus sign there, so that would be minus 20x plus 4 squared is 16. So let's see if we can match that up to something on your multiple choice. And it looks like C is the correct answer. Thanks again for your questions, Katie, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.